Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Ashuruk TV. Today's stories include... Federal Ministry of Health registers 78 new cases of COVID-19, including three deaths. The government backtracks from an agreement to allocate 30% of power to Darfur region. Blue Nile State expresses its appreciation to South Sudan for its contribution to achieving peace in the state. Welcome to the details. The Federal Ministry of Health declared 78 new cases of coronavirus in addition to three deaths were recorded in Khartoum State. The ministry indicated increasing in the number of coronavirus infections since the outbreak of the pandemic in Sudan, bringing the total of confirmed cases to 930, including 52 deaths, 10 cases recovered for today, as total of recoveries is 92. Meanwhile, Khartoum still records the highest cases number of 794, Jazeera 39, and North Kordofan 24. The Sudan Federal Minister of Health, Akram Ali Tom, has expected rising cases of COVID-19 to 1,000 by the end of the current week, as the citizens never follow the measures of total lockdown for curbing coronavirus pandemic in Sudan. Atom said in a press conference that his ministry has allocated rapid response team for each health emergency reported, as well as a firm readiness for medical caterers even in hard situations. Atom has disclosed new policies of Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning regarding companies of pharmaceutical productions, where hints with exemption of medications factories from taxes. The governor of Kasala State, Mr. Mohammed Hummed, mentioned that the avoidance of coronavirus pandemic is based on following the health procedures and measures issued by the Federal Ministry of Health. He requested that all visitors should report to the state's Ministry of Health to ensure their safety. The governor praised the role played by all medical caterers and what they have achieved previously. He also discussed all efforts of the Supreme Health Committee to avoid the pandemic by checking on all quarantines, entries and exit of the state, in addition to all the necessary procedures, including cooperation with neighboring states. The governor of Sinada State, Mohammed Osman Mohammed, has checked the implementation of precautionary measures in the state. He further ensured the procedures of testing all visitors before entering the state, along with complete closure to the local market and supervised cleaning campaigns and sewages to prepare for the raining season. The governor also saw to the quarantine centers and ordered to have extra testing rooms. About 20 civilians killed in South Darfur state in intercommunal violence, according to a statement by the office of the Sudanese Prime Minister. As the hybrid peacekeeping force prepares to exit Darfur definitively, reports from the Western Sudan region points to the increasing tribal fighting and attacks on civilians, further destabilizing one of Sudan's most volatile regions. In a statement issued, Governor Hashim Khalid said that the fighting between Falat and Rizigat began on the backdrop of cattle rustling and its transfer to Toulouse area, home of the Falata people. He added that the violence very quickly spread in the region to include the areas of Balail, Hajar Togo, Umkudja, Abu Jabra, Damsu, Toulouse and Katila. Darfur armed groups participating in the Juba peace process said the Sudanese government backtracked on an agreement to allocate 30% of power to the Darfur region. The Darfur groups were reacting to press statements on Monday by the Sudanese government negotiator, Mohammed Hassan Taishi, saying that the parties agreed to allocate 30% of the positions in the Sovereign Council, Government and Transitional Parliament to the peace bloc, which includes all the movements involved in the Juba negotiations. The four groups stressed in a joint statement that the 30% power sharing is the demand of movements from the Darfur region participating in the negotiations for peace in Darfur. The deputy chairman of the Sudanese Justice and Equality Movement, Adam Issa Ibrahim, affirmed that the peace negotiations in the capital of the state of South Sudan, Juba, in the translate of the Revolutionary Front, have become near for achieving peace. 
During his visit to the state of South Kurdufan and his meeting with his governor, the caretaker Major General Rashid Abdul Hamid Ismail in Secretariat in Kadugli, Adam Isa noted, now is an appropriate opportunity to achieve peace through concerted efforts and unity of the ranks, announcing cooperation of the GEM with the state's government to solve all social and economic problems, pointing out that southern Kordofan is one of the most affected states of Sudan from the scourge of wars. The governor of the Blue Nile state, Yassin Ibrahim, has expressed his appreciation for the stance of the state of South Sudan and its contribution to achieving peace in the state, stressing the unity of purpose and destiny of the Sudan and the state of South Sudan. This came during his meeting with the delegation of tripartite committee in charge of opening the humanitarian tracks and monitoring the cessation of hostilities, headed by chairman of the committee, Mayola Gok, the representative of the state of South Sudan, the sponsor of the mediation between the transitional government and the Sudan's people movement wing of Malik Agar. The governor has appreciated the efforts of the chairman of the committee during his chairmanship of the tripartite committee, praising the accomplishment that were achieved in terms of the tripartite committee's programs in the context of opening track and monitoring of the cessation of hostilities. The United States has not yet decided when an ambassador will be sent to Khartoum, said Michael Pompeo, who expressed hope to do it soon. Foreign Ministry said that the State Department accepted the nomination of Nouradin Sati as the first Sudanese ambassador to Washington since more than two decades. In a press conference held in Washington on Wednesday, Pompeo was asked whether his administration approved Sati nomination and when they would send an ambassador to Khartoum. The member of the Sovereign Council, Mohammed al faqih chaired at the Republican Palace the meeting of the Joint Media Mechanism for Unifying Discourse and Media Messages to promote the matrix of duties of the transitional period. The meeting has reviewed the perceptions and work plans submitted by the subcommittee for the control and unification of the media discourse for the components of transitional authority, the subcommittee for the paper and electronic journalism, the subcommittee for visual and audio media, and the Sudan News Agency. And now we remind you with the headlines. Federal Ministry of Health registers 78 new cases of COVID-19, including three deaths. The government backtracks from an agreement to allocate 30% of power to the Darfur region. Blue Nile State expresses its appreciation to South Sudan for its contribution to achieving peace in the state. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it from Shuruk TV. Thank you and see you next time.